or to ask the public what are you benefiting they'll say no nothing mining is not is not for us it's for the big people you know for the government officials and big companies and all that you know what this investment is actually contributing to the national economy was a peanut civil society organizations you know they were shouting about this but not with a coordinated voice we were interacting with the civil societies who were actually they were mostly complaining on the issues we had some from the religious groups we had some from policy forum, we had some from just the CBOs, eh? all pointing out the problems. But on the solutions, there was a gap because of the capacity, the knowledge on what is happening, happening in the mining industry. We realized that there was a weakness at the parliamentary level. Uh, the committees responsible for managing the sector did not have the necessary knowledge and understanding of the sector, just like uh, you know, with civil society organizations. So that is when uh, uh, we launched the, you know, the parliamentary capacity building project in Tanzania. It is a difficult job that we have to do as parliamentarians. I mean, it's contracts. Uh, as I said, it goes to a committee. If you're lucky, there may be a lawyer on the committee, but that lawyer may not have had any training in that area. So who is going to uh, uh, do the work properly? And we by and large accept the committee's work, but the committee is not informed by uh, a good research staff. Parliamentarians, sometimes we don't have enough capacity in, uh, in different uh, areas because we are brought from dif different disciplines. And after that, we are placed in various committees. They also face challenges in terms of trying to satisfy their constituents. Yes. They expect the, the MP to be paying school fees, they expect the MP to be building roads, they expect the MP to be building school blocks. They, they have so much money in their pocket, they, they solve a barrier problem, they pay school fees, they take people to doctors, you know, they, they take care of medications. People think we, we are being affluent. You have money, so pay my fees and so forth. And that's unfortunate because the MP has become a development agent rather than a legislator. It is not helping our democracy. We have not been able to Marshal the capacity that will enable Parliament to be as effective as it ought to. We need to talk about it much more. The advocacy needs to be much more. And we need to, I think there's a need to make members of Parliament and the executive understand that transparency is key to good governance.